this is the cheapest form of medium. The spray can is about eight bucks. It's not very artistic. As the newspaper betrays it, it's really underestimated. A boring street looks really interesting. A shop sign that's not interesting. Getting swamped by signage and advertising. It. Nothing happens in a vacuum. Graffiti is a crime! That is wrong. Read out really, man. It's the people's medium. New idea. It better be a good one. Yeah, they the community. Awesome! as a kind of election tool. Take it down. Oh my god. Really? Um, I love seeing it. Someone gets killed. Two young people that both lost their lives. Stay off the tracks. Help shape our world today. Sure. Like if you couldn't draw an elephant <laughs> you didn't try. A young artists, just give it a go. Enjoy what you do. I soon get sick of it. This is our sport. The first property. We're very happy for this. What? What? At about 10, I started getting into it. first straight up photography book for children. And wanting to be as good as them, burning the streets, burning the trains. To go to jail. I mean, there's no other way. The punishment is not tough enough. I've been arrested for graffiti, had a big fine, man. What can I do to pay back society? Take the graffiti off straight away. The tribe with the law is too soft. And Sydney graffiti is notorious for being quite rough. People are very confused. What? Graffiti can be looked at by different people. It was a big influence for me when I was a little girl. It's a small tie over because it's on the street, it's public. It's, it's rubbish, that's all. Just take a picture of a naked girl and call that up. If it's just like, you know, I was here. They tag something that's deemed untaggable. It's a social activity for us. It gives me satisfaction, enjoyment. It's confused as uh, what's classed as a, a signal crime. You better not be wasting people's time. You go to an art gallery, you're not going to like everything. Is it skillless modern art? And that photo remains as a record of their work done over the years. As you walk along this street, you're bombarded by this abstract art. These walls can talk. You're all for a piece that talks to the kids and talks to the passers-by. I think this is really stunning. It all started in America with young people just taking their names on walls, streets and signposts, and then later gangsters used it to mark territories. We're the only visual arts and design school in New South Wales. Graffiti isn't just a modern phenomenon. They were done by ancient Egyptians. Traditionally indigenous cultures from all over the world have been using body painting as part of the ceremonial practice and rituals. Taki 183 was recognised as one of the first graffiti artists in America. But what is graffiti? I guess we can view street arts and art that can sell for high values, such as the works of Banksy, and to all clusters, uh, criminal damage, and uh, private property. I love graffiti! I... Graffiti is a free form of media. There is a subculture, there's a big division. There'll be fights <laughs> and crews mashing up against each other. It's a, it's a visual expression of of hip hop. Look into it. You will find the meaning behind it. And that can take many, many forms. Basically, street art is something that some will look at and enjoy. Graffiti is something that is offensive and actually defaces and damages the property that it's in. Will tagging ever go? I don't know if it will go or not. I don't think tagging will ever go. We like the good stuff, but we don't like the, the tags and the messy stuff. But to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be doing this sort of stuff if I wasn't a tagger. Will electronic graffiti be a solution to illegal graffiti? Yeah, I think electronic graffiti um, is taking away the, the um, techniques of graffiti. Can a community benefit from graffiti? 
sites of street art where people go and look. I would definitely recommend this program to other businesses. I think it's a great initiative. It has a better use of taxpayers' funds. Part of art books, so you'd need to keep them if you've got an art section. The eternity tag of the 1930s is today a very iconic Australian symbol. Graffiti art was being showcased at Vivid Lights Festival, which is a sign that it has been accepted as a form of art. This sort of work was being uh, acknowledged by the National Gallery, and it's happening all over the world too. A graffiti artist put up a commemoration dedicated to Jill Mayer, a journalist who was murdered in Melbourne. We decided to paint this wall to contribute something to our community. And since this work's been done, other artists have respected it. There's been no tagging. So, so I like to work around someone else's piece. Policy makers have implemented strategies to alleviate graffiti problems by rapidly removing legal graffiti, use of security cameras, education campaigns, increasing penalties for offenders and art projects. Vandalous graffiti can be detrimental to society. The value to Australia is something in the realms of 1.5 billion a year. And that's the cost of the community. The trick is, is getting all your concepts down to make your art worthwhile. Because bad art is the most useless thing in the world. Traditional graffiti will always be around. There's always going to be a, the kids that love bombing trains. And the important thing is always... Live the graffiti! Stay safe. If it looks risky, just don't do it. These walls could talk. Yeah, it would be a long story. Yeah. <laughs>